if you give them a bow, then they become your bow bay. I postpone everything. Worrying about stupid things. When is it my turn to start living? Good morning. My last day here in Hong Kong and it's been a, such a fun week exploring the city. I haven't been here in so many years and I gotta come back sooner. This morning I'm feeling a little lazy, kinda just wanna lounge around the hotel room. So let's go check out the local 7-Eleven. They basically have a little kitchen here cooking uh, breakfast. Western fried rice. I basically got everything to have available for breakfast on the menu. And they had a lot available. Everything was, uh, they, they just prepared it like an hour ago. Let's see what else is good. Ooh, Yangzhou chow fun. Love this. Beef tendon over rice. This is very Hong Kong. Chicken feet, ribs, rice. Another popular dish, Singapore fried rice vermicelli. Oh, the egg sandwiches are definitely not gonna compete with Japan. Imitation lobster. Tabiko salad. Interesting, tuna fish and egg mayonnaise sandwich. All right, I'm just gonna try their egg sandwiches out. So I miss Japan so much. My favorite brand of Taiwanese instant noodles. I haven't tried this yet. Banana milk. So you gotta be careful with the microwave in Hong Kong. It's not like in Japan, we just push one button. So it says four plus four. That means you push four once. And then when it's done, you push it again. So this one was four plus three, so I push four and I push plus three. This one is six plus three. And that's done, press a three. It's really not a place to eat at 7-Elevens in, in Hong Kong. They're not really prepped that way. Uh, so I'm gonna take it back to my hotel room. Exception of this, I gotta eat this right now. And they have straws here, lids, fork, spoon, chopsticks, and oh, oh that's out. This ramen is so good because inside this packet, it's a sauce and real chunks of beef. This is also why if you try to take this back to the States, you might get caught <laughs> and this will be confiscated because you're not supposed to take this. A lot of people ask me where to buy this in the States. I think eBay, probably the only place. Super hot pot beef flavor. Never had this. Oh, I can smell the numbiness from it already. Definitely needs a little more time. Oh, look at this. Noodles are a little wide, so it's gonna have a nice chew to it, I assume. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, here we go. Chunks of beef, a little fat on the side. I'm gonna eat it with some of the shoy mai and uh, fish balls. Kind of just drenched in the spicy sauce on the bottom. That is not a bad fish ball, especially the spicy, nummy sauce that comes with it. Good stuff. Mm. I know this is not a Hong Kong instant noodle, but this thing never fails me. A little show mai. I'm gonna dip it in that spicy, nummy sauce as well. Definitely doesn't taste like a show mai you'll find in a dim sum place. A little gluey. Wrapper's non existent, but at least I can taste the shrimp. I'm not asking for much. I love these noodles so much. I think uh, choosing between fish balls and the shomai, definitely get the shomai. But whatever you get, get that sauce. I still think I like the beef version with this instant noodle better. I just missed it so much. All right, store's getting busy. I gotta get out of here. Taking up a lot of space. Let's go have the rest of breakfast. But gotta say, the staff at that 7-Eleven, nicest people, maybe, I've met in Hong Kong. Just the sweetest, sweetest people they even asked if i'm coming back tomorrow for more <laughs> but anyway uh help me with the microwave help me with the instant noodles such great people so 
Big shout out to them. Oh, this is actually really, really nice because that's the view outside my hotel window. This is the harbor. Beautiful. Looking out at that beautiful scenery, munching on some 7-Eleven. This is a dream right here. If this was in Japan, it'd be even more perfect. Oh, I don't even know where to start. Oh, that's a really milky milk tea. Let's eat. This is the Singapore style fried rice noodles. And this is a really popular dish. Not just in Singapore, but also for Cantonese people. The snake noodles are pretty fluffy, a little bit of peas, just a tiny bit of pork and, you know, so-called eggs. So really not much of, of sauce or topping in here is mainly just the noodles. I already know this thing is gonna need some hot oil. I don't hate this. I mean, noodles are dry. I wish there was a little more sauce to this thing, but I like the chew and I like the curry flavor. Honestly, this is not bad for me. Well, that tastes exactly what it said. Salted sparkling water. Sparkling water with salt. I didn't know sparkling water needed salt, but it's not bad. It's not, it sounds gross, but that's okay. This is crazy. This is chicken feet and pork, pork ribs over rice. And these are really popular dim sum dishes. And you want some classics, you definitely would get the chicken feet and you would get the pork ribs with the black bean sauce on top. Oh, that's bad. They taste like ribs that have been sitting out for a few hours. And somebody went over there, magical flavor elf, and just extracted all the flavor from it and then left it for you to eat. I feel like this is what Santa leaves really naughty Asian kids. Oh, I tried the chicken feet. I'm really terrified of this. I mean, chicken feet itself has a terror factor to it, but put it into a microwavable rice dish, it just, it just looks diabolical. I'm pretty sure it's giving me the finger right now. Surprisingly, don't hate it. Flavor is much better than the than the ribs. I mean, it was sitting by the ribs. Maybe it sucked out all its flavor. It's like a flavor stealing vampire chicken claw. That texture is not bad. It actually tastes like something that came out of a restaurant. I mean, it's no spring chicken, but I can't stop picking at this. Okay, sorry, sorry. Pretty good chicken feet. Again, I'm not a chicken feet expert or a kernel sore, if you will. Sorry, that's that's my last one. I was I'm just. It's, it's, it's not bad chicken feet. Ooh, rice with beef, brisket, and tendon. I've been looking forward to this. So if you don't know, Hong Kong is, is famous for its beef brisket. And so I really wanted to try this. The only thing is the packaging for these, uh, these microwave things are just so incredibly difficult to rip off. Inside some radish and the chunks of beef is soaked in gravy and what you should do is scoop some of that and put it over the rice a little extra gravy oh big chunk of beef tendon you know growing up how your parents told you to uh or at least mine did to chew my food a hundred times before i swallow it i think that actually needed literally a hundred chews. Oh, that was a tough brisket. But I have to say the opposite for the tendon. Like, oh man, my tendon is really, really mellow. I like a little chew my tendon. I don't like it that soft. That was almost pudding soft. I think the best thing in this plate so far that I've had is the radish. That's just really juicy and crunchy. I think the beef is flavorful and the gravy looks excellent. But some pieces of the meat is just way too tough for me. But again, really good flavor. Really good flavor. A little hot oil, mix it with the gravy, mix it with the rice. That alone is good eating. Fried rice, what looks like some roast pork, peas, and shrimp. Oh, this is the worst thing I've had so far. The combination of curry and little bits of eggs in there and pork and the, just the mushy as a piece. You know, sometimes I'm eating something really delicious and I can't pinpoint that amazing combination of aroma and flavor, but it's just so heavenly good. Yeah, this is the opposite of all that. Oh, the noodles are so much better than this. This is the chang fen, really popular classic dim sum item. Steamed rice noodles and some sauce. 
That's not bad. It's definitely not gonna be like fresh steamed rice noodles. Don't be expecting that. But this is tasty. Mmm. It's chewy. I like the sauce. It's fragrant. It's spicy. Not a bad mouthfeel. And the sauce, I feel like, why don't you finish this? You can use the sauce for a lot of stuff. That's great sauce. These are the chicken wings. I think they're like soy sauce braised chicken wings. Look pretty juicy. They're not bad. Actually, they're pretty good. A little sweet, also umami flavor. Very aromatic aftertaste that leaves your mouth feeling like somebody went in there and sprayed like good chicken potpourri all over it. Good stuff. I'm thinking these are gonna be good. These are indeed good. She told me it pairs really well with the chicken, and I think it'll pair really well with a spicy, nummy fish ball. And the noodles itself is actually quite fragrant. It's got some nice spice to it. I think a similar sauce as that is in the noodles as well. And the chicken doesn't look half bad. Chicken's all right. I would just stick with the fish balls. But it does go good with the noodles. We need something a little saucy with these noodles. Mm. I think fish ball is still one of my favorites here. I have a thought. Trust me, it doesn't happen all that often. Noodles into the spicy, nummy sauce from the fish ball. Oh, now they look so much more inviting. Mm. I like that. I think for all these things, if you can, eat it as soon as you get it. I think I let these noodles sit a little bit longer than I should have, but when fresh, these are good noodles. 7-Eleven egg sandwiches I always get from Japan. And I just wanna see how it is here because I've been missing the heck out of these. And they're distant cousins, right? It, it can't be that much difference. It's still the same eggy family tree. I mean, at first glance, it is kind of similar. No crust, the egg, you know, it's an egg salad. They look alike for sure. You can definitely tell they're related. The bread, nice and airy and bouncy. Not the same. It's not bad. The texture is a little crumplier than the Japan version. The sandwich in general is not as light, it's not as airy, it's not as excellent as the one in Japan. Bread, I think, is also a factor. This bread is just, it's not as soft. I think overall, it's just a tougher version of the egg sandwich. It's still good. It's not a bad egg sandwich. Like, if I never had the egg sandwiches in Japan, I had this. This to me would be an amazing egg sandwich. But something about this is it's a little too much sweetness for me. Oh, this is interesting. Tuna fish and egg mayonnaise sandwich. Again, if you remember back in Japan, they used to pair the egg salad sandwiches with tuna salad sandwiches. And it was amazing. So I used to just eat them together. And here, they literally just put the same ingredients inside two pieces of bread. And you can tell as soon as you take the sandwich out of the packaging that the bread is it's a lot tougher, a lot more stale than the what you would get in Japan. Wow. All right, this is no go. The tuna is not as fresh. I know it's canned tuna, but it doesn't, doesn't taste all that tuna-y. This combo almost gives off like a sort of a bitter taste. It's really weird. This is really not that good. Imitation lobster into Biko salad sandwich. Oh, this is not bad. Dare I even say this is good? Still a little sweet for me, but nice chewy chunks of meat. The sauce is creamy and flavorful. There's like little popping bits of uh, fish rolling here. It's not a bad sandwich. So I think of the three sandwiches I had, this and this egg sandwich I like the most. The egg and tuna, I think will probably show up in my nightmare. Banana milk. Yeah, I like to open it from the other end because, you know, I'm a, I'm a rebel like that. Oh, this is so yum. Didn't know you could milk fruits, but Glad they did. They have a, a very big assortment of bao in 7-Eleven. Uh, in but let's try this first. This is the very traditional looking sticky rice and it's wrapped in a fragrant aromatic lotus leaf. And this dish, at least presentation wise, is the best looking dim sum item I got from 7-Eleven. So this is a rose pork sticky rice. That's great. If you put this on a plate, served it to me in a dim sum restaurant, couldn't tell you the difference. This is by far the best dish I've had, most quality dish. Like I said, 7-Eleven Hong Kong breakfast has a lot of dim sum options and it has a lot of buns. So I got every one of them so I can try it out. Start with this. This is a sweet bun. Mmm. 
pandan bun. Love the pandan flavor. That's a good bun. The classic cha shell ball. Roast pork bun. That's not bad either. So far with the buns, two out of two. I think this is a chicken bun. Yeah. It's a chicken bun. Actually, flavor is pretty good. A little too sweet for me, but it's not a bad bun. That's a good bun. Coffee bun. I think there's. It's a really nice snack if you're hungry, craving something a little sweet. Walk into a 7 Eleven, grab one of these. They're good. Oh, salted egg bun. Now, I don't know what this would have been like if it was warmed up because right now, obviously, the bun's a little cold. Maybe this could have even been really runny. That's good. This is one of my favorite things in dim sum. Runny, eggy, yolky, sweet, salted egg bun. I mean, it's not running right now. Like I said, it's been sitting on my table for about 20 minutes. What is this? Flavor. The fluffiness of the outside dough, the sweet creaminess and slight eggy and saltiness of the filling is everything you want in this bun. That is now the best thing I've had on a 7-Eleven menu. I think somewhere in my hotel, there must be a microwave. I'm gonna microwave this thing up and see if this thing could still be runny. I'll be back. A few moments later. Whew, pipe and hot bun. All right, so it's not flowing like they usually do at them some restaurants. It's still really darn good. And you should get this. Guys, you really should go get your girlfriend one of these. And oh, ladies too, you can get your guys one of these. You know why? If you give them a bow or a bun, then they become your bao bei, which in Chinese means baby. So, you know, they become your baby, your bao, bao bei. Somebody should put that on subtle Asian traits. Oh, by the way, if you're an admin, if you're watching, I posted many funny things. Only like one got posted. It hurt my feelings, you know? Anyway, overall, I feel like of all the stuff I got, the dim sum items were the best things from the 7-Eleven here in Hong Kong. Out of the dim sum items, I loved almost every single one of the buns. I think those were the best tasting dim sum items. I thought the fish balls were good, the rice noodles were good, the sticky rice was excellent, chicken wings was tasty. Most of the other microwavable lunch items I got were just okay. And I got a lot of food, but basically today, it's a, it's a lazy Sunday. I'm just gonna... Stay in my hotel room, watch the new season of uh, One Punch Man, and eat and stare out my window. Sounds like a fun day to me. And guys, as a reminder, when you're watching this, I am no longer in Hong Kong because of the editing delay. So if you want to know where I am in real time, uh, just make sure to follow me on Instagram right over here. The link is also available for you in the description box below. Also, don't forget to check out the Strictly Dumpling store. We got tons of really funny, cute new show designs. So take a look at that. So that wraps up my review of 7-Eleven here in Hong Kong. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.